Hello Year 3, it is Miss Wilkinson here. Um, we're going to carry on with our ancient Egyptian topic in history. Your key question today is what was the most important item in a pyramid? Now you may already know uh, some items that were in there. Uh, we're going to have a little look at some, some more today. So your learning objective is to describe how ancient Egyptians mummified the bodies of important people. You're going to do a little bit, bit of research about mummification today. Obviously, the mummies were inside the pyramids. And you're going to rank the importance of items found in pyramids. So what do you think was the most important item? And what do you think was the least important item? We're going to start off today just having a look at some of the work that you have already sent in to me. Uh, in history. So you may recognize some of these pieces. We have Dominic's over here. Um, brilliant piece of work, Dominic. Lexi and Faith, well done. Awesome research and some brilliant predictions last week. We also have Zachary and Amber. I'm going to say blonde Amber, well done. Sam and Ava. Some more brilliant pieces of work. And from my class, Lewis, Tommy and Jake. Excellent research and excellent predictions last week. Let's see if we can get some more work up to show off next week. This, or these, sorry, are some of the artefacts that were found inside a famous pharaoh's tomb. And the famous pharaoh you may have heard of before, it was called Tutankhamun. And he became a pharaoh, he ruled ancient Egypt at the age of nine. Now, if you think about it, you are seven and eight year old. So imagine in a year's time, you became king. Uh, nobody knows how he died and he is an extremely famous pharaoh because his pyramid inside his tomb, all of these artifacts were found by a famous archeologist. Now we're gonna look at that next week, but have a little look at some of the things that were found inside of his pyramid. Now we're gonna move on to some of the items a little bit more in depth. This is a sarcophagus. And it is a it was a stone coffin that pharaohs were buried inside. And when archaeologists came across these sarcophaguses um, and opened them up, some of the mummies inside the bodies in here, their faces you could still make out their features. You could still tell what they were that what they looked like and that's because the bodies inside had been mummified you're going to do a little bit more research on mummification after this lesson so a sarcophagus helped to keep the pharaohs preserved helped to keep them looking the way that they did before they died Now we've come across these before as well. These are another thing that were inside the, the pyramids with the king, with the pharaoh once they died. And they are canopic jars. Now some of you may already know what is inside each of these from your research. Uh, embalmers, they were the people that mummified the bodies, used to take out the organs. So the, um, the lungs that help you breathe, uh, the liver, the stomach, and pop them inside of these jars. And then they were put inside the pyramid with the pharaohs. And it was thought that these jars, so there's a baboon, a jackal, a falcon, falcon, which is a bird, and a human, they represented powerful deities. We've heard that word before in our RE lessons. Uh, deities is a type of god, so they think the ancient Egyptians thought that they were protected from harm. So if the 
that liver was put inside the human canopic jar. A deity, a god, would protect it so that the pharaoh had it safe in the afterlife. I want you to keep thinking, remember, all this time, how important are the canopic jars? We've had the sarcophagus and the canopic jars. A little think now, which one do you think was more important? Amulets, amulets, these things here are like little uh, necklaces, like jewellery, and you can see it on this mummy here. Um, and these were usually in the shape of a scarab beetle, and they had messages inside or magic spells that would get rid of evil demons. And King Tutankhamun, who we discussed, that was the first slide that I showed you, uh, he had 143 amulets on his mummified body. This here is a mummified body with all the amulets on it. Um, and it was thought that they would be protected from evil demons when they were inside of their pyramid. Now, so we've looked already at the sarcophagus, remember, that kept that body preserved, the canopic jars that had the lungs and the liver and all of the organs in to take to the afterlife, and the amulets that would get rid of evil. Have a little think, which order would those three go in? The Book of the Dead. Not actually a book, not what you're thinking of, but these were written instructions um, on the walls of the tomb or inside of the pyramid that told the pharaoh how to get to the, to the afterlife. So it was thought that these were, these were important instructions. Once the pharaoh had died and he was inside of his pyramid, the words, or I say words, the pictures uh, in hieroglyphics would tell the pharaoh where to go. We'll keep thinking, how important is that? Comfort items. This is a bed that was actually found, recovered, taken from Tutankhamun's tomb. Um, and it's said that it could still be slept on today. It was that well preserved inside of the pyramid. How important are comfort items? <laughs> Mummies, the pharaohs, um, were also buried with food like bread, meat, fruit, vegetables, so that he could feast and still enjoy eating once he had passed over to the afterlife. Now have a little think about this. How well do you think that food would be kept well preserved and how long for in that tomb? It, is food an important one? That's for you to decide. Ancient Egyptian pharaohs were also extremely proud and powerful. Um, and they wanted their lives recorded for eternity, so forever and ever and ever. So they had paintings made which showed their family um, and some of their accomplishments, some of the things that they are proud of doing in their life and while they were king. So that's one of the images. Um, and the paintings were put inside of their pyramid with them to take with them to the afterlife. Spells. There were spells put on the walls of the pyramid, but also written in hieroglyphics and popped inside. Um, I'm just going to read this spell here. All people who enter this tomb make evil against this tomb and destroy it. May the crocodile be against them in water and snakes against them on land. And it was thought that anybody that tried to get inside of that tomb would be cursed um, and possibly even die. Tombs were also filled with statues and paintings of Egyptian gods and goddesses that were thought to help 
the, the mummy, the pharaoh, move on into the afterlife. And it was thought that they would protect, also protect them from the tomb being robbed. So those are all of the things or some of the things that were found in, in tombs in, in where pharaohs were buried. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that task in a moment, but we're going to move on to my favourite thing in ancient Egypt mummies and mummification i'm gonna leave this completely up to you this week i want you to find out how a mummy was created and i have left a couple of pictures on there for you to have a look at i want you to find out what these tools here were made were, were made for and i want you to have a look this is a mummy on here what are all of these people doing look not big jars. What are all these people doing? What is the name of these people? What is this important person's name? Um, I may have mentioned that earlier on and I want you to tell me how they are made. I have put a link in Teams that will tell you all of the information that you need and there's a video on there. Do not panic. There are four tasks today. However, I am going to give you um, longer than usual to get these tasks done all right i want you to have a go at all of them if you can and they're actually really fun tasks your first task is to rank the items in the tomb from the most to least important and um, so i will add the pictures onto teams and you can either move the pictures around um, i'll also i'll also label them a b c d e so you can just write um, the letter names so I want the most important one first. Which one do you think is most important? Was it the canopic jars so that they've got all the organs? Was it the um, the book of spells so that the pharaoh knew where they were going? Uh, rank them from the most to the least important. That is task one. Uh, task two is to research how a mummy was preserved. And I want three facts. If you want to tell me more, absolutely fantastic. It is really interesting, so go for it. Again, follow that link, scroll all the way down the page, and you will find a video as well as written information. Task three, design your own tomb with special items in it. Uh, so all of the things that we have looked at, canopic jars, book of spells, the amulets, uh, the paintings, what would you want in your tomb? Would it be that special teddy bear that you've had since you were little? Would it be pepperoni pizza? Ooh. Uh, so have a go. You can draw it. You can write it. It is completely up to you. You can build it out of Lego if you like. And finally, task four, create your own mummy. Now in that video on, this, on task two, there is an example on there. You will need an adult to help you with that. Um, it is up to you how you create your own mummy. You could even grab a teddy bear, wrap it in toilet roll. And I'd love to see some pictures of that. So as I say, I have a go at all the tasks. I'm going to give you the next two weeks to do these in. There will be a history lesson next week as well, if you want, if you get those done quick, quicker. Um, and I'm really going to enjoy seeing these mummies and tombs. Finally, remember, if you have any questions, get your adult to email year3 at ssjs.co.uk and you'll get straight in touch with myself or Mr. Howell. Bye.